Oh, the pink one's gorgeous. Okay, I literally look like the Tin Man. But, oh my god. Okay, now I'm going to reapply some mascara. Good morning, everybody. Oh my god. Okay, so I have attempted to vlog probably four times this week. But today I'm going to do a full day of eating. And I literally look so rough right now. I just woke up. But it is time to go get some breakfast. So come follow me there and we'll see what we're going to have. Okay. So we've got a big old bowl of quick oats. I chose the vanilla and peach one this morning, and then We've got a spicy fruit English muffin and I'm a little bit proud of myself because I put butter on it and butter is a huge fear for you to mine and I put butter and jam on it so I'm already winning this morning so I'm gonna get, eat this and then I'm gonna update you guys on what's planned for today okay so I did not expect to go on this rant but Instagram can really really mess that up I am literally like, I am so fed up with this world like oh so if you follow me on Instagram I have now put on my story hashtag diet riot because a society needs a freaking wake-up call and no I'm not gonna make a change I'm a little person with a little YouTube channel and a little Instagram but I do not have a little ambition so Basically, the story is that I saw this post on Instagram. Um, it was like an ad, like, you know, those supported ad things. And it was basically a picture of someone taking, like, a picture of their food. And their phone would tell them the calories in it. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, are you actually serious this is what i put on instagram and basically i said if the world was so consumed with the same amount of love confidence and positivity as it is with diet shaming and teaching young people that they aren't worthy why don't we just take a second and realize what the world would look like it's it's disgusting it's actually appalling to live in this world and then I said we were all bigger than this fucked up world we live in that makes us believe we aren't happy until we're unhappy in the size one. Let me tell you one thing. I'm at the smallest weight I've ever been in my entire life. Do you think I'm happy? I was thriving in Italy, being probably the heaviest I've ever been. I was so freaking happy. I was eating pastas, pizzas, living my life as a teenager should. And now people want to tell me that because I'm smaller now, I should be happy. Because that's the only way you're going to get happiness in life is to be a size one. But oh my god. I can't stand it. And I, I'm at a loss of what to do. Like I know I'm not going to make a change in the whole world. But oh, if just people realise that your life is so much bigger than what you look like then I don't even reckon half of us would have eating disorders. Sorry I went on this massive rant, but I am just infuriated and I'm sick to death of people thinking that it's okay. Like, it's, it's disordered. And I don't care if people say I'm promoting obesity, I'm promoting this. If promoting obesity means promoting happiness, promoting living a life, promoting food freedom, then fuck me, I'm promoting obesity. Because with your calorie counting, your diet culture, your body shaming you're promoting eating disorders all right jesus christ i'm sorry for going on this huge rant but yeah that's just my thoughts of the morning yeah okay okay so after that massive rant we finally have a plan so i think we're gonna go shopping and we'll probably have lunch at the shopping center and so yeah that's just the plan for today so i'll probably see you when we get there 
Okay, I don't know why, but literally my voice, my anorexia voice, just got so loud, so overwhelming, and really, really quick. And I don't know why, like, I have a feeling it's because we're going out and we're probably going to eat lunch in the food court or something. But I don't know. I'm really stressing really bad and I don't know why. Like, I was okay this morning and I was really motivated. And now I'm just, yeah, I've got really bad anxiety about it. Yeah, so we'll probably, yeah, most likely we're going to eat in the food court. And as FBT says, mum will choose what I'm having because that's just too much stress on my mind to calculate the calories and bullshit. But yeah, that's the situation right now. I'm trying to be positive, but yeah, the thoughts are getting really loud and I don't know what to do. I've just got terrible anxiety. <sighs> Far out. I just wanted like one day. But anyway, probably see you there and show you what I'm going to have for lunch and our adventures at the shopping center. So yeah, bye. we did a lot oh my god so I am pretty exhausted but um that exhaustion does not unfortunately counteract the thoughts that I'm having um I don't know like when I updated you guys in the morning saying I've got really bad anxiety it just hasn't stopped so I don't know I don't know what it is I think maybe because I have challenged myself a lot this week like I think I've eaten in the past two days probably maybe like three meals at home and everything else has been takeaway or you know we're going out for dinner and being social and actually living my life yeah um the anxiety has not stopped and yeah that comes in with eating disorders so i just thought why don't we do a shopping haul so i'm going to show you everything i brought today I did spend a lot of time shopping so i think that's why i'm pretty tired but yeah, I'm just going to show you what we got. Let's start off with this little package. Sports girl, by the way. Okay, so we love a bargain. And I got literally all of this for $9. So, first off, I got this scrunchie. Um, it was literally $2 and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I bought it. Um, and then we got two palettes. So we got the wild watermelon palette. And then we got the pink lemonade palette. Um, I might open these up and see what they're all about. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. Sorry. Yeah, this one's a pink lemonade palette, and I'm pretty sure it's just like highlighters and stuff. And then we've got the wild watermelon palette, and it's not any easier to open. And I'm pretty sure these are eyeshadows, yeah. So pretty, oh my god. Oh, you can't really see it, but the orange is like really, really bright. Okay, so that's what we got from Sports Girl. And then I also got another package from Sports Girl because I did two transactions, like an idiot. But um, if you didn't know, Sports Girl is a massive advocate for the Australian National Eating Disorder Butterfly Foundation. Jesus. 
So I've always got something on, whether that would be, I've always got this bracelet on. It just says like, oh my god, you can't see it, but it says have hope. Um, on my handbag I've got a little puff ball and um, the butterfly sign. And today I brought earrings just with the butterflies on them. Um, so all the proceeds go to the Butterfly Foundation. So I will always support that and I'll always support Spots Girl for that. And along with that I also got a lipstick. Which I'm going to open up because I actually didn't swatch in the um, in the store because I, it just said amber red and I just brought it because that's my favourite colour. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. This was literally $2. Oh my god. It's even got Sports Girl, if you can see, engraved into it. That is such a gorgeous colour. Oh my god. Thank you, sports girl. Okay, next I got from... I'm going to butcher this name. Uni... Uniqlo? Uniqlo? Um, yep. It's so fleecy. Like, it's... Oh my god, it's so warm. But it's just like this top and it's got a skivvy, so it's high neck, turtleneck. It's really cute. And then next, from my favourite store of all time, Gander. But I actually wear this now. Yeah, it's pretty cute, I know. Should I wear it now? Yeah, let's do it. I really like it. Oh, I don't like my hair. Yeah, I reckon that's not nice. Let's go to the full length thing. Yeah, I think that's really cute. I love you, Ganda. Thank you. Should I try this on too? You know, to go with the red and the red. Oh my god, I'm so scared. That's a really cute colour. I'm gonna go get a mirror. Yeah, that's a really nice colour. I love it. And I'm going to try the Illuminating palette. Okay. I definitely think the first one, or the second one. So let's try the first one. Oh, it's very funny. Oh, yeah. Can you? I don't know if you can tell me the difference on the camera, but I can definitely see. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, my God. I don't know if you can see. Oh, my God. It's really gorgeous though. I mean, it's such a bargain, so I wouldn't really care. Oh, the pink one's gorgeous. Okay, I literally look like the Tin Man. But, oh my god. Okay, now I'm going to reapply some mascara. So, yeah, for lunch, that was such a big recovery win for me. Because I never let myself have that. Never. I always thought, oh, it's too high in calories, it's not worth it. I can have something, you know, just all these th stupid messed up thoughts. And maybe that is why I'm struggling with a lot of thoughts right now. Because I have challenged so much. Oh my god, I, that's what you gotta do to get free. And I just heard my nan and are here. We're gonna have dinner with them. And just a heads up, before I get any comments saying or any um, people judging, I've never eaten chicken in my life. I hate it. I hate the taste. It's not that I'm vegetarian or vegan or anything. I just can't even stand the scent of chicken. And I haven't eaten it in my entire life. Um, but my family are having chicken schnitzels tonight. So I won't be having that. Um, I think I've got fish fillets or I might make pasta or something. Um, that's the reason I'm not having chicken schnitzels because I hate chicken. Oh my god, this has turned to a full on makeup thing. Jesus. Oh shit! Really distracting yourself like this, you just need to do it. Yeah? Like you really do. Or else you just get so consumed with thoughts and so consumed with anxiety and your eating disorder telling you differently on how to live your life and you just need to distract yourself 
So filming and doing makeup is literally my two favorite things. So that's what I'm doing. So anorexia does not get a hold on me because I would love to have a lovely dinner with all my family tonight. And yeah, so I know I look like a pale zombie, but um, yeah, I loved all the palettes. I think the lipstick's my favorite though. It looks so pretty. And I love this, but yeah, that's the night. I'll probably see you at dinner or if, I don't know, mum's probably made a platter, so I'll show you what she did. So come downstairs with me. And we're out again. Lexi, where are we going? To IGA to get coke. Oh, how fun. back in my room right now um sorry I didn't really like vlog a lot while we were having dinner and dessert I just wanted to spend some time with my family put the camera down for a bit but um I've opened the camera back up because I'm starting to get really bad thoughts again and I just thought coming out here would make me feel better um dessert was really hard I just didn't want to eat it, but I did. I don't know I did the right thing by eating it, but it was really hard. Oh, fuck, sorry. I was going okay today. I actually did really well today, and I know I did. But anorexia probably doesn't like that, so... Well, do definitely doesn't like that. So it's just that voice that's getting a little bit overwhelming. But it's okay. It's getting overwhelming because I did the right thing. So it's going to get overwhelming before it goes away. And that's what I just keep telling myself. So every meal and every snack, it's just getting further and further away. I'm not um, acting on the disordered behaviours. And so the compulsion to go back onto those behaviours is louder and stronger. But I just got to keep telling myself I am doing the right thing. And, you know choose recovery <laughs> so yeah that's just the situation now um yeah sorry like I don't want to be upset around my family so I just came up here I just feel really guilty for eating it especially like I know it's so stupid but like it's earlier than when I would usually have dessert and it's not my normal dessert it was a different apple pie and I, I don't know the calories in any of them, but I don't know that it was still out of routine and it was still different. Yeah. But oh well. Maybe one day I'll just eat apple pies at every restaurant. <laughs> doesn't matter. What I eat seriously just doesn't matter. I just need to feel my body properly. And that's the way it's got to be. You've got to eat that way to actually live. So I choose living over an eating disorder. So I'm probably going to cry and I'm going to get upset tonight. But I know in my heart I did the right thing. I just, it is hard when you've got a whole nother voice in your head telling you that you did the wrong thing. And that I should feel guilty for eating it. But yeah, I'm going to go down and spend some time with my family, I think. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I don't know when I'll update you guys now, but um, yeah, I'm really sorry for getting upset again. But recovery is not smooth and it's not easy and especially f for someone coming out of an eating disorder so early. Like, I feel like you guys don't really know, but I've only really been doing recovery since March. So it is still really new to me, and it's hard. It's hard for everybody. My heart goes out to all of you, of course. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> but yeah, go eat that apple pie. Because you're one step away to living a really good full life. 
And yes, you're gonna get upset like me. <laughs> keep going, keep thriving. I just gotta keep telling myself that. I'm doing the right thing, I'm thriving, I'm fueling my body, I'm getting rid of anorexia, I'm, and then I'm gonna go on and live my life to the absolute fullest because I'm so done living my life like this. Like getting upset over a friggin' apple pie, like get over myself, honestly. But yeah, alright, sorry for this semi rant, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, it is getting really late and I just washed off all my makeup. Um, I did play PlayStation for a little bit trying to get my mind off things, which kind of worked. So now I think I'm just going to go to bed and watch a movie and yeah, so that was the day. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Um, I love you all. I think you're all beautiful and you're all doing so so amazing and um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that one is. <laughs> Alright, bye.